Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG. In this episode, we're going to build our new home. Yes, we are. And we're going to go take a look at that uh, that Red Falls biome, too. Um, but So, before we get started with that, there's a couple things I want to buy. Um, I want... Well, first of all, for production aspects, I want to buy the smart fabric. How much money do we have? We have almost 17,000. Um, because this sucker's worth 500 Terra tokens. Um, so I'm thinking about starting a production line for that to really beef up our money. Um, but let's come back to that because first of all, we need a customizable sofa for our new house. And we're going to need a customizable bed for our new house. And what else are we going to need for our new house? Um, there's a couple new space suits in there. Uh, three by three living compartment. Nah. I mean, we might we might get that eventually for a production facility, but that's kind of boring otherwise. Uh, the rounded living compartment's interesting. I wonder if we could put... The fountain's also interesting, but I cannot believe how much it costs. <laughs> that's crazy. Um, use this in the blueprints. Hologram projector. What does it project? Oh, that's like a, that looks like a rocket. So maybe it projects whatever you put inside of it. That could be cool. Um, but both of those things are really expensive uh, for us right now anyways. The rounded living compartment. That could be like a, a lower floor for the upper floor living compartment. Hmm. Let's... Uh, fucking storms, man. I'll tell you what. These things are such a pain in the ass. Why don't we... Um, I want to just get a sense for how large this thing is. Hmm. It's not that big. So, what we could do is... We could get the rounded living compartment to put underneath it. I think we will. Okay. Um, you are waiting on more cloth, aren't you? All right, why don't we... I got a whole bunch of backed up food at the animal farm. Or the food farm. Food farm, animal farm. In fact, let's look at this rocket. It's almost like something's not... Oh, by the way. This is... Ham... Ham the Speedster. <laughs> um, the reason he's Ham the Speedster is because... In the comments, one of you suggested naming him Hammer, like for Hammerhead. Or Ham for short. And then one of you suggested naming him Speedy because he's so damn fast. Yes, he is. He doesn't seem like it, but he is. Uh, so Ham the Speedster. I know that's really lame, but it's your guys' fault because those are the names you came up with. <laughs> but I appreciate it, though. Okay, yeah, these guys are loading up food. Okay. I guess we're just a little ahead on the production here. So let's take a big load of these back to the base and put it in the other rocket so we can get it to take off and go get us our stuff. Yeah, but I am interested in um, making that that uh, rainbow smart cloth stuff. Okay, looks like we need to grab a couple more. Uh, plus, I'll get a few extra for, for around here, too. I believe I've selected my spot for our build as well, and I'll show you that, of course. Um, and I have another animal ready to go. I just need... A uh, color A. Uh, this one will be species two. So we have species one and species three, but we haven't made a species two animal yet. And then everything else is just traits that I've either found or gotten from petting my critters. Um, by the way, I don't think I told you this, but this is Frederica. Okay, this is Fred's wife or mate, Frederica. <laughs> Um, she's only a size four, though, so my guess is she will not get as big as as Fred. Okay. Um, right, let's go back to 
canyon base here. And we're going to finish putting this stuff out in the rocket. And it should bring back our new loot. We'll put the rest of this stuff in here. And let's keep one on us and let's top off with one as well. Okay, so because I think I'm going to place the other rounded compartment underneath the glass compartment, why don't we... Well, here, let's go. Let's actually go out to the new build site first. All right, so we are basically on uh, up on a quite high up on a cliff here that over whoa uh, oh shit uh, that overlooks <laughs> the the beautiful uh, waterfall valley whatever you want to call it and nice view of the ocean we see the big waterfall on our right and then off to the left is the crater and other cool stuff so I figured. I'm not really planning on doing a whole lot here in terms of doing anything outside or the landscape. This is really just where we're going to come and live and relax at the end of the day and make good food and enjoy our planet. Um, so uh, I'm going to probably put down foundations first. But uh, we might hold it out over the cliff a little bit too. I guess I don't have stuff to make, uh, um, whatchamacallits, doors. <laughs> um, so yeah, okay, let's, here, let's do this. Let's pick this back up. And, um, the other thing that, that's kind of nice about this place is that we can face directly south on the cardinal direction. Um, so why don't we go ahead and actually put some foundations down. If we, if we go that high... Um, that should, I think. Should be able to make that work. There is also a water source. Um, whoops. Uh, there's a little pond down here. But... This is, we, we can get to kind of this part of it, but it's, um, we have kind of like an invisible wall more back here. So it's not like we can't really go over there. Uh, it starts right about here is where we can get down. So what I was thinking about doing here is just maybe making like a little platform of foundations. Uh, with a stairway to go down to the water so we can use it like for drinking and stuff like that all right those flowers are pretty so let's see this is a four wide and that'll probably be fine for this for this building but i do want it to i want it to stick out uh, hang out a little further so we're kind of hanging out you know, a little bit over the edge of this of, of the cliff here. So let's put another row of these in, and maybe even one more row. That looks pretty good. All right, that's a start. I'm going to I'm going to need to bring some more iron back. Um, let's go to this teleporter, which is down below here, and pick it up, because we don't need this here now. Because that's where we are. Um, you can see our, our little overhang up there. Well, yeah, here. There's no point in setting up doors yet, because we're we ha we got to put the other rounded compartment down below it first.
Could pick up a little bit more iron though just to finish out those foundations. I think we already went behind here, right? Yeah. Sure looks like there's a cave behind that waterfall, but there isn't. That should be enough to finish this out. There we go. Okay. Look at that view. My goodness, it's beautiful. We might we might put in, you know, a few well, I don't know if we can we're probably gonna be pretty limited uh, as to what we can put down on these rocks here. Uh, I was thinking maybe putting down, you know, maybe a golden frog farm and a golden butterfly farm. But I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I, I know the butterfly farm has to be on the ground and it probably won't work on rock. I'm not sure about the frog farm. It probably is the same thing. It would make sense that it would be, I would think. Okay. So we're going to rename this guy Southwest Falls. All right, so while we're waiting for all that stuff to come back, let's go ahead and go check out that new biome. I just want to look at it and check it out, see what it looks like. And we're going to need to bring... Let's see, I'm going to need three more iron to make the rounded building. Why don't we go back there and just set it down for now? Just so I'm not carrying around the materials. Oh, that is a little bit wider. If we wanted to have like a porch, which I think we do. And then we might need to change that, but I'll worry about that after we get the other building piece. All right, let's go to the Stargate. Oh, you know what else we should do actually is we should make some explosives to take with us. Yeah, so that way, you know, if we need to blow something up, we can do it because blowing stuff's up is important. Somebody should probably get some animal food going too because of the it gives us multiplier and stuff uh all right explosive powder and circuit boards i should have um in our mini overflow bins i should have yeah i've got some explosive powder there and some explosive powder there Don't see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Quite a bit more there, too. Gotta remember, I've got these high level mutagens in there. And there's one more piece. Okay, and then circuit boards. Two, four, six, eight. So I need four circuit boards. That'll give us four explosives. This doesn't have a market value. Just thinking, you know, if we wanted to mass produce them or something. Okay, so that gives us four of those. Let's do a food topper and a water topper. Okay. So I was told in the comments by you guys that uh, the new procedural wrecks are hidden behind these places we have to blow up. Uh, didn't we? Wait a minute. Did we not blow this up last time? What the hell? weird oh it's even got a countdown that's cool <laughs> it's a very black rock 
Okay. Um, yeah, so check out this new biome, man. It's got a, a blood red river. A cherry Kool-Aid river. Some red moss over here. It doesn't reflect the light. That's kind of weird. Oh, this is neat, though. If you like the color red, this is your place. Oh, it looks like there's a wreck, too, that we can go check out. That's nice. Where does this go? Ooh. What is that? Just iridium? Yeah. Hmm. Oh my goodness, it's dark down here. Oh, this is our... Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, so that's the Iridium Cave. It goes out into the canyon. Very cool. Because I came down here and I saw this and I go, wait a minute. That looks like my uh, stuff is still sitting here. Back here. Let's actually pick that up. Wow. That's cool. We set that up a long time ago. Okay. Well, a lot more iridium you can pick out of here if you need to. Alright, so that's kind of neat to see how that ties in. See, does this go anywhere? Take all that stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's another little crashed pod here. This is like the one... Yeah, this is like the one that's in the... The Spires biome. Ooh. 1,200% oxygen multiplier. All right. I'll take that and that. I'm going to leave the rest of that stuff for now. Those must be the trees that are here in the biome. I'll take those for explosives. Um, that, 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 and that. I just... Uh, at least until I get my storage situation sorted, I need to not, like, loot every freaking thing under the sun. You know what I wish the game had? Um, I wish it had um, an awesome sync. Ooh, that's nice. Mechanic. <laughs> like, satisfactory. So for those of you who don't know... And satisfactory, if you have excess material, you can feed it into this device called an awesome sink. It's kind of like a ginormous trash compactor. But what it does is it generates coupons that you can then use to uh, purchase things. So you're not ever really wasting anything, you know? So I wish this game had some way for us to maybe generate space bucks or something. Like, what what it could do is it could... Is this where we came through? Yeah. What it could do is it could um, uh, create like a, a recycle cube, right? Just a cube of material, recycled material, kind of like... You know, think of like aluminum cans when you those get all crushed down and then created into a big, huge bale that can be, you know, sent to a processing facility. So what we could do in this game is take everything that's excess that we don't, you know, like we have, I have a hundred million flower seeds that I'm never going to use and put them into a recycler 
that doesn't destroy it like the shredder does, but that actually creates, you know, after you accumulate a certain amount, it pops out a, you know, a recycle cube, we'll call it for lack of a better uh, term. And then, and then you can maybe send that up in the rocket, you know, for, to get space bucks or something like that. That would be awesome. That'd be awesome. Ooh, I like how they did the ripples on the water. I don't think I've ever seen that in this game. Well, that's cool. Nice little effect. Here, let's drink some red. Let's drink some cherry Kool-Aid. Some some fruit punch. All right, let's check this wreck out. If there's anything to check out in it. It's like another fighter ship, I think. Ah, yeah, circuit boards. Hmm. We need room for that stuff. How about if I... Um... I'm just going to toss down things that are not important enough to worry about. Make ourselves a little more room here. Uh, let's have, we'll drink one water. Okay. Oh, now I can't get past the door. <laughs> I want the circuit boards for sure. Wait a minute, how big is this wreck? All right, I'm gonna leave that there. Ooh, I think we're done with blue, with, with blue chips again. Blueprint chips. We'll take those two things. And the rockets are like just unending. All right, we'll eat the food and take the rockets. I think what we'll do is we'll actually set up our teleporter. Yeah, uh, let's do that actually. That way we can just take stuff back to the base. Can we set that up inside of here? Oh, we can, look at that. How about that? All right, nice. In that case, let's pick some of this stuff up because it's right in the middle of the road anyway. And for now, I'm just going to dump it in put all those in there uh dump the rest of the stuff in here yes i know i know i need to get organized it's on the to-do list i want to keep the explosives we got to plant these these trees probably won't let us do that at our new house will it Let's make a let's make a tier three tree spreader uh, spreader and just see if it actually lets us do anything with that. So we're gonna need two of those. We're gonna need a zeolite if we have an extra one. All right, let's just grab one out of here then. A bacteria. I have a bunch of those right here. A super and a tree bark. All right, we'll just see if it lets us plant 
plant that at the base. Uh, if it does, we'll come back and grab the other one too. All right, let's um. Okay, well, since I grabbed that stuff. Put that larva away. Do I still have enough stuff for another portal? I'm missing a pulsar and osmium. Okay. Let's get our stuff. Customizable sofa, customizable bed, rounded living compartment. What does that require? All those things. Okay. So let's get um, that stuff. Rounded living compartment. We'll pin that. We need two more iron. Uh, th uh, three titanium. Another super. Actually, no, we need we need a total of three more supers because we still need the one for the tree grower, just two. All right, let's go back to I'm I'm kind of like doing two different things at once here, obviously. Let's go back here and pick this up. All right, we needed, I wanted to widen the foundations too. All right, let's do that first. Whoops, no, no, no. Don't be doing that. Try that again. There. Do I have enough to... I don't like that it's kind of... Clipping through the foliage there, but it can't do anything about that. Okay, so we need three more foundations, plus whatever iron we need to make the building. Okay, so those are for the foundations, and then we need six more iron in total. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Very good. Okay, now, um, oh, for Pete's sake. All right, I'll take care of that later. Let's get right in the center because we're do. We now have a, a six by six, and we're gonna put down the rounded compartment first. Let's set it. Set it there. Um, I'm just trying to decide if I want kind of like a front a front porch too, which I think I do. So that means realistically, we're going to have to do another row of foundations. Why is it correct the, on this side though? One, two, three, four. Oh, cause I only went five back, not six back. That's why. All right. Let me go get more iron. So uh, I need a total of seven more iron just to finish the foundations. Whilst we're here, we need a door too. 
So let's get another iron, titanium, and silicon. And we're going to need... We're going to need a ladder too. So another iron and another cobalt. here and get a drink of water. We're definitely going to have to put like a stairway or something down there. So now we want the back end of the rounded compartment to come to right about there. Um, if I put it down like that, it kind of sinks down into the foundation, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that's okay though. All right. Yeah. So this worked out good then. Um, we're going to have a back door and a front door. So let's just do the back door for now. Okay, good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the glass compartment on top of this. Nope, not quite. Got to pull it. I guess it's exactly the exact same dimensions. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's a biodome. we go. Rounded living compartment. Very nice. Okay, so let's put the ladder right here. Look at that view, people. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> what we'll do is, uh, I think what we'll do is maybe we'll put a doorway here and have like a, just a little balcony. How would we do that though? Could we do that maybe? I wonder if we could do that with glass floors. Oh, we need smart fabric to make those things. Interesting. Okay, well, that's just another reason why we need to get the smart fabric blueprint. Okay, so what I think we'll do is we'll let I think we can maybe try and use glass floors, glass floor or ceiling for living compartments. And we'll make ourselves like a little glass balcony, you know, coming out this way. That can be kind of neat. Um, and then probably these spots, we'll just put windows in. I think that's what we'll do. I'm making this up as I go. <laughs> okay. So we need, uh, we need another door coming out the front here. Oh, we're going to see if we could do the tree spreader here. I don't think it's going to let me, but let's just try it anyway. Yeah, I see it. It needs to be on ground. All right. Well, if that being the case, then if I'm going to put a tree spreader anywhere, I'm going to put it out in the desert and because, you know, a long time ago, Let's go to the fusion self-reaction. A long time ago, you know, I got started putting a 
a forest or you know building a forest or growing a forest out here in the desert so we might as well continue that process I was going to come over here and redo some of the this too but you know the more I think about it let's just leave it as is and keep adding to it we'll just contribute to our our plants and oxygen and biomass and all that anyway so let's put you right about here okay we'll start growing some red trees they're starting kind of like uh, watching hair grow except for it's red plants and not hair <laughs> okay cool so I got that taken care of huh okay um that you know and I I do have a bunch of other tree seeds in storage that we should just pull out and plant plant all of that stuff too there's no reason not to really we could turn this whole entire desert area into a lush forest the only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have it's still sand on the ground you know and I guess I could put a bazillion flower spreaders down or grass spreaders but I'm just concerned about maybe performance if we go too overboard on stuff like that Oh, let's, uh, well, no, I don't want to use this rocket for that. Let's go back to the canyon base. And go out here. Smart fabric. That's just a blueprint, right? Okay. So let's order that. Rosea tree seed for 600. And I'm going to hold off on that. Hologram projector. We might get an army of tier two drones going at some point, but my drones seem to be keeping up pretty well. We've got two sets of them, so we have a total of 50. So, so far, they seem to be doing pretty good. Um, oh, that's right. It keeps disabling. If you buy stuff and it brings it back, it disables it so it doesn't launch it again. I just have to remember that because I always forget to reset that and then it sits there. Uh, let's do the same thing. Let's get another load of food so we can launch that and get that smart fabric. Besides, I'm curious to see what it's going to take to make the, make this stuff anyway. All right, why am I carrying around? I, I think I must have, at some point, I must have had an extra thing for a teleporter. That's not a, actually not a bad idea. did it. Just keep that on hand all the time. We just need a Pulsar, a Nas, and a Zeo. I don't even have any loose Osmium. We can take care of that. There we go. Okay, pulsar quartz and a zeolite. All right, so we have enough stuff to make another teleporter if we need to. Don't need to be carrying these muties around uh, or that nitrogen. All right, what were we doing? Uh, we needed to get stuff to make another door, so that's going to be a silicon, uh, an iron, and a titanium. And we wanted stuff to make some glass flooring, so that's going to be titanium and cobalt. Let's just grab all that extra titanium and... So five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what else? I think that's all for the moment. Oh, we wanted to make three more glass walls too. So we need three more iron, three more cobalt. 
There we go. Okay. Um. Oh, we needed stuff for two more doors, huh? Okay. Well, let's let's do this door first. Now, the question is, can I put... Oh, you're not going to let me put these glass foundations down? Or floors down, game? Come on, man, really? Oh, that sucks. Can I even... You can't even attach them to... I guess they... Hmm, that's a bummer. Cause I want to make like a little glass balcony up here. There's just nothing you're gonna attach to. So it's probably has to be in. Okay, yeah, see, you could do that or that, but it has to be inside of a, a you know, an existing structure. They're not like standalone thingies. Um, I mean, putting a glass floor here is kind of sucks. But, ooh, it'd be kind of nice to see the flowers down below, though, wouldn't it? I'd have to remove the foundations, though, which I don't really want to do. Okay, well, I guess that idea is not going to work. Oh, uh, no, damn it. That's not what I meant to do. Put this back. Okay. Well, let's at least put in glass walls. I mean, honestly, if I can't put a balcony out here, I don't want to put foundations down because that's going to look, I don't think that's going to look good. I mean, can we even do that actually? I don't have enough iron. The only way we could do that is if we, I think if we stacked them, but I don't know if the height would turn out correctly. So I think we're going to scratch that idea. And, you know, we still have the porch out here. We'll put rails down, you know, for safety reasons and so forth. But I think that means then that I want to put the door here. And this can just become another glass window, which we're short one piece of iron. Okay. So, so we need an iron to make that other glass window. And we could, we could also make these two, that one on that side and this one on this side glass windows as well. So we need a total of three more glass windows. One, two, three. And we still have the cobalt for that. I want to also bring a bunch of extra iron to see if we can make ourselves like a little uh, dock, I guess is the word, down at that pond so we can go down there to get drink, you know, drink water without having to glitch to the, the terrain there. Okay. I like it. Beautiful. All right, guys. Um, let's see. I think what we're going to do, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. And um, in the next episode, I'll have my smart fabric. And we'll make whatever we need to make to make our furniture. So we'll work uh, in the next episode. We'll work on our interior decoration of our new place here. 
And the idea is we're going to kind of do a bedroom living area sort of thing up here. Uh, and then down here, we're going to put in like a kitchen and some storage and... And yeah, that kind of stuff. Kitchen and storage mostly, I think, down here. I wish we could take the bio lab uh, constructor or whatever you want to call it and and just build that alone without the, the bio lab surrounding it. That would be kind of cool. And then, you know, we'll, I, I want to see what these are all about, but we'll also probably put in some of this furniture as well. Um, but I need, I, I need to stop sending my fabric off into space and start accumulating it for those things. But, you know, we've got display cases. We've got flower pots. we got spacesuit displayer now. Our cooking station table. So I think with all the stuff that, you know, the game provides for that sort of thing, we should be able to put together a nice cozy little home. Um, speaking of getting something to drink, let's uh, see it. I, it just drops me like right down into the water so that's why i want to kind of build see if we can build like a little deck thingy in fact here let's let's work on that real quick before i let you go oh man i don't like that it's going to go through the trees though problem is i can't if i keep heading north i can't get down to the water from here um I don't think there's much we can do about that. I think it's just the way things are going to be. So maybe what we do, though, is we, we bring it off of here. Oh, now you don't want to go there. Uh, this this game does this weird thing. Oh, that's why. Never mind. Sometimes, though, the foundations, they just don't want to go in, and you have to really kind of change your angle and stuff. You know, to get him to... Wait, did that go in right? Yeah, it did. Here, let's turn the light on. I mean, this is terrible. It's not like it's going right through a really thick tree trunk kind of thing. Now, can we put a stairs here? That's not letting me drink. Oh, I must still be too high up. How about now? Yeah, we're still too high up above the water. Okay, so in that case... Why don't we do another stair? Am I out of stuff for it? No, I'm not. You don't like that though, do you? Oh, wait. Uh, oh, I must be too far out into a no build zone kind of thing. Hmm. What if we... Okay, what if I hold this whole business back a little bit? I know the stair kind of glitches into the terrain a little bit there, but... All right, now if we put a foundation below this... Kind of hard to gauge the height. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And then can we do another stair coming off of here? Try that again. Is that... Yeah, there we go. Huzzah! Success! All right. Now we can come down here and get water. Without having to glitch to the terrain. Oh, there's a little bit of a lip there, but that's right. We can we can jump up that. That's not a big deal. 
Um, should probably put some rails around here too. And I'll definitely, you know, be putting rails at least, uh, you know, starting right about here and around the front so we don't accidentally bail off the side. Okay. I think we made some pretty good progress on this. So yeah, next episode we will focus on uh, interior decorating our new home. And um, I haven't forgotten, you know, that we we went into the red biome and started looting that ship and didn't finish it. So we'll finish that out too. But uh, I think our little place here is looking kind of cute. We need to get a screenshot too. Um... I wish we could actually actually fly. I mean, like, actually fly. Because if I go off the edge of this, I'm going to drop down, and I'm not going to be able to get a good screenshot. But um, if we did an angle like this, we could do an angle like that. Or we could do it from inside. Oh, yeah, that might look cool. We have the little waterfall off in the distance. That doesn't really show the base. It's all about the right angle, man. That's kind of neat with the planet off in the distance. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go with this. Oh, first of all, we've got to remove our pins. There we go. Get a nice clean screenshot here. Awesome. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.